Hi there, I'm Dr. Teresa Carraway, CEO of Hearing First, and welcome to our Facebook Live Ask Me Anything. But I'm excited today because one of my wonderful friends and a special mentor of mine, <laughs> Dr. Carol Flexer, is joining us. And she is extremely well known in the field of listening and spoken language and beyond, and has really contributed to our knowledge base and shaped the practice of how we teach children to listen and talk and access that brain for uh, learning. And so, um, Carol, thank you for joining me today and so joining the conversation. So, um, Carol, many times I have heard you say that we hear with the brain. And can you tell us a little bit more about what that means and what we need to know about that? Right. So we talk about hearing as if it's an ear phenomenon, mm -hmm. but in fact, the knowing of the meaning of that sound occurs in the brain. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, think about the brain. It's this kind of squishy organ, totally encased in bone, yep. yet how does the brain know anything? And in fact, it knows everything. The brain receives different types of environmental information through our five senses. Mm -hmm. You know, we have hearing, vision, taste, touch, smell. And each of these senses capture different types of environmental mm -hmm. data. So, for example, the nose captures different olfactory molecules. But whether, for example, you sniff and you, oh, I smell a cookie, or I smell a diaper that needs changing. Does the nose know that? No, the nose knows nothing. So what knows? It's the brain. Mm -hmm. Well, so for hearing, when you hear your mother speaking or music or the dog, does the ear know that? No, the ear knows nothing. What the ear does is it captures raw vibratory data. Mm -hmm. That's the back and forth, that, that's the environmental data that the ear captures. Mm -hmm. And through this amazing process, that vibratory information is transformed into neurological impulses that reach the brain. So how does the brain know that this neurological impulse is my mother's voice? Yeah. Well, through exposure and practice mm -hmm. and conversations, the learning of the meaning of that auditory event occurs. So everyone needs to get, parents need to get that if their child has a hearing loss, the problem is in this doorway that receives the initial raw vibration, the, the the impact, the, the intent is we have to create the neural pathways in the brain mm -hmm. where the knowing of the meaning of that auditory event occurs. Yeah, so in, in essence that we hear with the brain and it's so important because that's yes. what we're all learning occurs.